Hello everyone, welcome to the Nerdy Quail. Uh, today we're going to be showcasing the game Black Powder Red Earth. Black Powder Red Earth, I just recently found out, is a graphic novel series with uh, multiple entries and apparently an upcoming animated uh, film. It's a your basic tactical game, um, except with a few unique features, and I'll explain these features as we showcase the game. We're going to just start off in the first area here, and it's going to be a, a Line Tundra. Now, Line Tundra is only about 75 meters, and we are going to do a raid. In a raid, we find, fix, and finish a high-value tactical target sheltering the capital city sprawl. To start off the mission, there is usually a card or something that they call a kinetic event. Uh, this particular one was called Bad Terp. And the description is, a local national asset employed by our client has provided intel on our operations to a known Islamic Emirate facilitator. Be advised, two Islamic Emirate fighters have been positively identified by, at the location and are moving to the kinetic force. So in the game, you are referred to as the kinetic force. And here are our squad of four, uh, labeled Mobile 1 through Mobile 4. And there's two guys that have been positively identified. So I see one in the center of the screen there. And looks like there's a second guy right next to him, but not quite positively identified on our end. Uh, our game, the game has not been cooperating for recording, so I'm not sure you'll be able to see the mouse cursor. So to start off, we're going to select mobile one right there. And our objective is to locate a high value target. The high value target is in one of these buildings. To identify a building, you just select one of your guys and you have them move right next to it. So this particular building is a jihadist fighters are inside of it. So Islamic Emirate fighters prep the wiring on any IEDs, jam AK magazines with 7x60x39, and record martyrdom messages to inspire new recruits. Something moves in the darkness, the jihadist throws chest rigs on over their suicide vests and charge into the street looking for a fight. So that means two fighters have spawned and we know that they have suicide vests on. So, Mobile 1 is in position, he still has at least one full action left, so he's going to engage the closest one. There is no Overwatch in this game unless you get a specific card or kinetic event. So, we're going to have to... There's no way for us to sneak by these guys, so we're going to have to start engaging. So, we're going to have to move around the corner and engage. We can't have him engage again, but we can move a little bit more out of the way. And I, that identified that building right there. Which is a local national apartment. The cinder block is the foundation of all construction in the sprawl. Rained with trash and draped with electrical wire, each apartment is garnished with air conditioner, satellite dishes, and a variety of barely operational electronics. The bottom line is the important line for the game, and for us, thankfully, nothing is going on here tonight. Perfect. So that means Mobile One has moved, he's out of the way for the next guy to line up and take on the next uh, Tango. Rotating your characters will rotate where they can see, so we're going to have him look down there. Next, we'll have Mobile Two. Or actually, Mobile 3 is closer, so Mobile 3 is going to move up around the corner. And he'll engage the next Tango. Alright, the target's down, and Mobile 3 can do a little bit more movement, but that might put him in a bad position. So he's going to stay where he's at.
Mobile 2 is, can cut across and be behind cover from this building from these gentlemen down there. And that's exactly what we're going to do. As I stated before, there's no overwatch in this game that you can do with your characters. And I believe that applies for the opposing forces as well. You need to have a card for it to happen. It plays more like uh, a board game than most other tactical games, such as XCOM, where um, you can actually set your Overwatch beforehand. But speed is our friend here, so we're moving up. I decided not to go next to this building yet, because I didn't really have anyone that could uh, take care of any potential enemies if they came out of the building. And with that, we're going to end the turn. Alright, next thing, update card is a bill of fights. Moving with intent towards the targets, assaulters take up to three actions each, or three actions each, mobility or kinetic. So we get three actions this turn. As you can see up to the white, teal, and blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up mobile one up here and engage. Next thing we're going to talk about is on the top of the screen you'll see where it says atmospherics normal. Right there you'll also see how many turns I have left and how many kinetic events have occurred. The normal means the condition that your team is in. Uh, we haven't been spotted yet. Enemies don't really know we're there or exactly or exactly where we are and we are not um, actively engaged in a firefight. Um, that doesn't mean we still can't take out people as you saw so we're gonna try to stealthily take out these two people right here. Every shot you take can increase the chances that someone has heard the rounds flying. So since he's done two actions already, moved one, shot one, and because of the card we had, we can take another event. And since we have three people with full turns, we're going to move them next to the buildings to ID, ID them. The Mamaluka Hotel. The Mamaluka Hotel is a jihadist front where recruits wait until their final posting is determined by the Islamic Emirate leadership. Comprising the jihadist mesh network there, kinetic interrupter capability, disrupting any opponent action in progress, is now available. That now gives us a kinetic interrupt, which interrupts opposed opponent's actions with lethal force. That gives us almost an overwatch ability. We're going to move him up. And the next building is a checkpoint where uh, Islamic Emirate fighters choke roads and alleys with choke points, controlling access to and movement within areas they occupy. Vehicles for taxation, kidnapping, and robbery. This checkpoint is flagged for future targeting and not the object of tonight's operation. So thankfully no one came out of there. And that means we got two buildings out of the way. Next, we're going to have Mobile 3 move up, and he's going to take out the other Tango. Going to have him move up a little more. And unfortunately, he missed, so I'm going to have him move back. We're going to have one of these gentlemen, Mobile 4 specifically, he's going to move up and try to attempt to take him out as well. Okay, got him, and apparently there's one more next to the door. Okay, target down. Alright, that opens up us checking these two buildings down here. 
So this game is more closer to Invisible Incorporated than XCOM, where stealth is key. I'm going to have... Even though we have three turns, I'm going to have Mobile 2 advance across the map this direction. And since he's the only person that's available, we're not going to idea building. But I want him to get him more into a position where he can assist once we start identifying the rest of the buildings. And we'll end the turn there. All right. This is a kinetic interrupt. Goggles down, guns up. A military aged male has eyes on the kinetic force. Time now. Engage all threats now to attempt preventing an escalation event. And we're going to. So that means someone came out of the building somewhere, sees us, so we're going to engage all threats. Uh, we were. Soft compromised threat, bullets his past, then their distinctive signature, unambiguous. This is not the crude muzzle report of an AK-47. It is the understated lethality of an American-built war machine. What this means is that people are starting to hear uh, bullets are firing and they are texting each other where they're trying, people are trying to figure out where it is, and the jihadists may be monitoring traffic. Alright, next event for this turn is Informant Captured. After the torture of his family by jihadists, a local national asset has provided intel in our kinetic force to the Islamic Emirate. Hire has shaved the timeline to find, fix, and finish the target before a risk on the ground becomes unacceptable. An additional turn has passed. Instead of being on turn 3, we are on turn 4. Alright, so mobile 3 here is going to identify this building. Thankfully we can get there in one turn. As you've noticed we're now down to two turns. Alright, it's another checkpoint. And I don't think anyone spawned from that. So they're going to continue moving up. Mobile 4 and Mobile 1, both have eyes on the building, and we have some person right there. So Mobile 2 will move next to this building and ID it for us. It's another apartment, someone walks outside the door. There's two civilians, so unfortunately civilians can text your position to people which may find their ways to the enemies. Okay, so we're now going to move ahead and identify this building. Since the main door is on the other side, we can be fairly safe. Okay, it didn't say anyone came out, so he's going to move up there. And keep an eye on that way. And we're just going to move everyone up. He's going to look down that way, just in case that person, they can ID them. All right, threat, and this is a threat of locals are taking pictures and capturing video. So a local national has captured video of the kinetic force with location and timestamps placing them in the area of operations time now. So we're getting a lot of people coming out of 
buildings. We don't know if they're civilians or um, enemy targets. All right, another card. Four more years. An Emirate foreign establishment emir in the custody of Cold Harbor has volunteered new intel in the activities of our high value target. Hire has reprioritized assets and authorized additional time to find, fix, and finish the objective. So it pretty much countered what the last event was, which reduced our time and gave us an additional turn. So we're back onto this being turn four again. All right. So mobile one here can check out that building. It takes two turns, but that might be worth it. I do know there is that one person next to the hotel, so we should be able to ID them as well. Or we got another uh, kinetic interrupt capability, and it's another checkpoint. All right, the building is still in the way, so we're going to look down that direction instead. Okay, next we're going to bring the person that's furthest down up and still can't be hiding behind that wall right there. Next, mobile four. I'm gonna have mobile four go down this alleyway right here. Still checking out a different building, but still within a reasonable distance of everyone else so that they can back them up if needed be. And mobile two is just going to move up there. We're not going to do that building yet. We're going to wait until next turn. Another uh, caution suspicion event where people are starting to record video and take pictures. And enemies came out of buildings nearby, so we're going to engage all threats and goggles down, guns up. Uh, escalation again, same thing, but this time it's both sides are engaging each other. And it looks like we have a person down. And that's saying that uh, they're now hearing AK's fire. And we're starting to get a lot more people. And he just used his vest. And we're now down to two. And as you can see, we're now under compromised. So the, today, or this turn's event, is that the uh, s vests detonate without warning. Bad wiring or careful preparation of the battle space, just like Sagan, a eh, slick? Okay, so we're, we're down two. So Mobile 3 is going to move up one and engage him. Unfortunately, they had Overwatch. Mobile 4 is by himself. And he's going to move up here to identify this building. And that's where the high value target is. We're already compromised, so we're, they're going to throw in the flashbang. And there's a bomb in the house. And that means we have to engage everyone in the house before the bomb goes off. 
So mobile fours can engage the first person. And is going to move up there. Alright, he's going to look into the hallway. So they, their command wires failed for the bomb, so they're going to have to try to use the backup system. the uh, end of the mission as it can shows that even very careful tactics and careful careful pre preparation things can go sideways still on a mission well with that mission being a failure I'm going to show one more mission uh, we're going to do the retract maple operations area which is a 50 meter cordon and I'm going to actually talk about the three mission types that are in the game right now. First is Raid, which is the one that we just did. Which is supposed to be uh, finding a high value target and taking them out. Next was the High Profile Attack. Which is an area is under a coordinated attack by violent extremist groups. And you're supposed to evacuate. Um, there's a lot of people and they're trying to hunt you down. The last is Exfil. Exil is an interesting one because you have to locate the high value asset, but the issue is, is you don't know if he'll be friendly or if he'll be an enemy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have fun and we're going to do a high profile attack. Alright, Rock the Casbah is the event. Jihadists press the attack, massing fires to fix and finish assault finish assaulters where engaged. So, we're right in the middle here. And we are supposed to get here. Now, all the enemies know exactly where we are. And we have a big group next to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start things off by using our Switchblade drone. Spark to wait is cleared hot. Ducted props switch to full burn in the few seconds of flight time needed to deliver the warhead. Be advised, employing a strike will result in immediate compromise kinetic. Forces must patrol to exfil to complete the operation. Well, we already have to do that since that's our actual mission objective, so we're going to take out this group here. And now we're going to leg as fast as possible over here, but keeping in cover. Alright. It's a Jihadist Fighters group, and we can... Uh, lost in their zealotry, the Jihadist Fighters are unaware that their network repeater has been taken over. Press B to jam area traffic. I'm going to have... Mobile One continue moving up. We're going to see what this building is when we get next to it. Mama Luca Hotel, compromising the Jihadish Mesh Network. Their kinetic interrupt capability, disrupting any opponent action in progress, is now available. Cool. We now got an Overwatch capability. And he'll stay there. We'll have mobile four move there. Mobile three will move here and he'll turn around covering the back. And mobile two 
it's also going to leg it as fast as possible to there, and we're not going to come next to that building. Perfect. Now we're going to end the turn. And this will take a little while because uh, there's a lot of them. So while we're waiting for it, I'll just discuss the game a little bit more. Um, the game is in early access. A couple of things have been changed through its uh, um, lifetime so far. Um, the devs are fairly active on their discussion boards, which is nice. And... There are, uh, people suggest, uh, features or things that could be improved. The devs take a look at that, and quite a few of them have been implemented. Alright, we now have a kinetic interrupt, and we're going to engage all targets. Let's see, this guy's probably going to come down the same pathway. Or similar one. Yep, because he heard probably heard the gunshot. Oh, he heard the gunshot, so he's going to be there. But he's going to cause a bit of a problem for us, because I think they could see us. Yep. Now we'll see what those people from behind are going to do. Our strategy also will highly depend on uh, what the card that we get will be. Similar to uh, the game being my made by DVG Warfighter, uh, sometimes you know you have a very good plan in place, but then you you know cards that you have highly determine what you can do and what events occur. Alright, poor Tradecraft, the trusted local national asset has offered to provide detailed intel on the individual structure in the battle space. Alright, so that meant that another Jihadist checkpoint has popped up. Alright, we can't move forward. If we move forward, they all have Overwatch. So we're gonna move Mobile 4 up there, and he's going to pop off a shot and move. He unfortunately missed. Uh, I think it's worth taking the next shot. Okay. Unfortunately, took all his movement, but he at least is hidden behind that building. Okay, next we're gonna move. I also don't want to trigger that building, but I think we're gonna have to. He can't do anything. So we're gonna move here. We're gonna move there. Take out the guy here. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. But he won't be able to target that person. Okay. We'll have him advance as far as possible in the hopes that uh, we'll get noticed. And we're going to attempt to try to take him out with mobile 3.
I doubt that we can do that. Uh, let's see. Mobile 3. We'll move up there. Pop off a shot there. And move up there. Still think these guys could probably make it up, but... Oh, I thought that building was already, uh... Good, but it looks like it's another uh, jam cell cells and cell phones. All right, we'll see what happens. Some more guys are spawning everywhere. One suicide vest go off, took out one of us. Thankfully, the guy that we were behind wasn't able to hit. Now let's see what the rest of these guys do. It's not going to be pretty for us. But I think we should be able to technically win here. We're right next to our Xville point. And most of these guys have already gone. Perfect. Okay. Fortunate Sun is the event, which means that their suicide vest is at night without warning. And we're just going to have everyone leg it to the evac zone. Alright. Uh, he can do it in two turns. Just for funsies. I guess he can't see him. Okay. Oh, I guess he's slightly behind the building. Alrighty. So... He is going to also just leg it straight back to the evac zone. And that is technically our victory, even though we had two guys down. Well, that is Black Powder Red Earth, everyone. Uh, please be sure to check out the game, um, and then, you know... Put down your suggestions in the discussion boards on Steam, and hopefully this game will come out to be an extremely great game. I'm looking forward to see how uh, things turn out, and I'm hoping there's some kind of uh, over game where uh, you keep uh, cer your soldiers, and um, maybe they'll level up, maybe not, but at least uh, some sort of uh, thing linking things together. All right. This has been the Nerdy Quail. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe and have a good rest of the day.